afternoon here in Ohio just a little bit past noon on a Saturday I'm here with Deuce and uh, of course because as soon as I sat down here and put the camera on the uh, cantilevered tripod thing he had to present himself anyhow I got home yesterday ran to the post office um, I was expecting a package um, some for resin parts I'll show you those later in another video and I found another package in my post office box. I'm like, I didn't order nothing. Well, it's from Chris. From, oh, um, Chris from Ghostbusters. Quick response to you is 13A. You'll have to explain that someday, what the 13A and everything is. Anyhow, it's a package from him. I'm thinking, well, I didn't buy nothing. Well, let's see what it is. And what it is, is what it be is a little custom truck he made for me. He got my logo and made some decals, which I have a printer. It's an older printer. It's probably from the early 2000s. It's just, it's a Dell, and therefore cartridges can be expensive, but you can get alternate versions. It's a nice printer, and I just got to get around to getting paper and doing it. And it looks like he gave us some weathering, and I believe the tanks look like they were painted. I'm not sure if he took it apart or not because it's got these goofy little triangular screws, which you can buy online, you know, screwdriver for that. But I got to thank you very, very much. And coincidentally, I have something in the works over in my model room for you, too. Uh, I just got to get around to finishing it. It's painted, but... I got some work to do. And it opens up. It's the, uh, what is this thing? Sakura Sprinter. Whether this is a real vehicle or not, or it's a fantasy Hot Wheels truck, I'm not sure. It's funny, right there in the cab, it looks like a Ford. The, you know, the C600, C900, all those series. It looks very much in the shape of the window there like that. But then, of course, up here, it's not. But it's very cool, a lot of nice work in there, and besides his stickers, which I have one in my toolbox at work, he sent some water slide Hot Wheels decals, and some more of my decals. But yeah, thank you, Chris, very much. I was unexpected, very unexpected, and more Hot Wheels decals. Um, which I'll have to put to use at some point. Anyhow, yeah, the, the truck is very cool. I like it. I see, you can still see the Lancia under there, because whatever Hot Wheels uses, because the cabs die cast on these trucks, and these and the ramp trucks, they use a plastic body on them. And there you are, you can see it. And I don't care what you use to remove this, any graphics on them, I got a couple ramp trucks I started to customize, and they have graphics all the way down them. And I've tried every trick in the book. I've tried brake fluid, I've tried easy off, uh, stuff that's safe for plastic. Uh, I'm sure I could use, you know, a more industrial stripper, the same stripper I used for metal bodies. However, it's going to eat into the plastic. I, I want it, this truck is at least smooth on the sides. Uh, but those ramp trucks have the door details where the you know storage compartments and the latches and the hinges are. If you try to sand off all the graphics, uh, you're going to sand off the detail. Uh, kind of a pain. Yeah, I don't know what they use. You know, normally, graphics, you know, they come right off. But that still looks great. Apparently, uh, Chris put some time and some heart into this, and I thank you very much. Very cool. It'll go nicely with the rest of my stuff. I gotta make room for it though, because I really don't have a place to put it right now. My curio cabinet is packed to the brim. But yeah, there she sits. I like her. And of course, the back end opens, and hey, let's put a cobra in there. Here we go. 
Hey, get in there, stay in there. Here we go. Take the Cobra where it's got to go. But yeah, thanks. I was really a nice surprise. I was like, hey, I didn't order nothing else, did I? And Cobra coming out. There it is. But oh, thanks again. Just want to make a quick video of that. Yeah, like I said, I got your uh, item in the works too. I just got to get around to finishing it. And uh, do me a favor, Chris. Uh, shoot me your address in uh, Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Um, it's on the box here, but um, it's kind of faded. And like some of the numbers are kind of iffy. And I'm like, I don't want to send it to the wrong address. So, yeah, shoot me your address when you can, and I'll, I'll get you your item out as soon as it's done. So, in the meantime, uh, I got some running around to do, and I'm just getting trying to get over this damn cold. I was feeling better, and I woke up the other morning with a cold, and it's still kind of there today, and kind of have a headache that's fading, but I got some errands to run, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow in the next couple days, so I want to get some yard work done at some point today. Because if I don't, it's going to be another how many days before I can touch it. So, okay, again, guys, Chris, Chris, thank you again so, so much. I'm going to put this definitely on display here as soon as I get some extra shelf room. And um, I can put this with the rest of my stuff. I got so many I want to put out, but I need to have some shelves made for the curio cabinet. I need to light it up better and all that good stuff. So, or I need to quit buying kits and cars and buy a big uh, Lexander's play case. One of the two. All right, people, for me and Deuce, hey, Deuce, say bye. No, he doesn't want to say bye. For me, Deuce, and Penny. There's Penny. And Mitzi's way over there. See at the front window. So for all of us, to all of you, have a great Saturday, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. I'm out. Bye-bye.